Good morning guys. Good morning, how's it going? Hope you're having a good one, whatever you're up to. It is currently, what's the time? 10 past eight in the morning. And I'm down on Brighton Beach because I've just finished up my third boxing session with a new boxing coach that I've started working out with. And I tell you now, this is by far, by far the most difficult workouts I've ever done in my life. I don't know if you can see just how hot and sweaty I am. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. I think I was nearly sick twice just now. I'm kind of tempted to get in the sea. But I don't have a towel on me and I've got white boxers on. So they're definitely gonna go see through if I get in. Which isn't ideal on Brighton Beach. So I don't think it's a good idea. But it is bloody tempting because there are so many, like literally over there, there's three people in the sea swimming there. There's another two here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people swimming in the sea over there. Two people down here, people on paddle boards. Next session, I'm gonna bring, gonna bring a towel down and some swim shorts as well. Brighton Beach in the morning is just the most beautiful place. Like, it's pretty much a grey sky and it's raining a little bit and it is still so nice. I was on it at 6 a.m. this morning, making myself an iced coffee. I knew that I'd want this afterwards, and now I'm bloody happy I did. Hello, boys. <laughs> My best pals. Shall I drive over to yours now? All right, I've got stuff to get changed into at yours. I bought my wash bag as well. Switch up of outfits. I've just been over at my mate Ace's house and I had a shower and switched up, although I've still got my gym shoes on. I've got to pack spare shoes. We've got his boys with us today. Oh no. What's that, mate? <laughs> Who's that, Rocky boy? What a surprise. This is the reality of the babies. It wouldn't be too bad if the pram was a single. You could just put it, it on, put it there. We've got a pram that's too wide to go in the shop. So we're saying, do we wake the boys up and pick them up and carry them in? I think you go in, bro, and then I'll go in after you. I think we've got to go one at a time. You're going in, I'll look after them. I think. Oh no, they are a little bit awake. Hello, matey. What are you saying, Ruben? You all good? I'm about to do my first ever winding session. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell he's just gonna bomb down my down my neck. Never really? Never you haven't been asleep. My first feeding session. Success. Hello, matey boy. Going home now, little one. Just popped back up at mine. I literally just had a shower at my mate's house and I already need to get changed again because my jeans are absolutely soaking. Sweaty gym t-shirt, sweaty gym socks, wash bag. I feel like I've been away, away for the night. I did manage to pick myself up a new pair of shoes in town. All right, let's get inside, cook up some lunch. We have been absolutely blessed for this vlog to be sponsored by a company that I've worked with before over on my podcast, but I've never, never worked with before my YouTube channel. So I'm incredibly excited. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, who, if you don't already know what they do, they deliver freshly sourced ingredients directly to your door. I wish I still had the box that arrived the other day, but I got too excited and I've already opened it up. So, I've got my recipes here. We've got a cheesy chipotle bean quesadilla, a barbecue beef ragu, a fragrant chicken curry, and a four cheese garlic focaccia bread. If you've been watching the vlogs during lockdown, for what feels like the last, what, three, four months, when in reality it's more like the last year or 18 months, you will know, you would have seen that I've been getting so much more into cooking to the point where I got this for Christmas from Zoe. And I can't even tell you how nice this is to, to cut with. 
You can probably tell that I like using it because it's the only thing in the kitchen that goes back in the box that it came in and I hand wash it after every time I use it. Basically, over the last year or so, I've been absolutely loving cooking and just experimenting and trying out different new things. And HelloFresh make that incredibly easy because I often pick things on their website that I would not, for example, a barbecue beef ragu. I would order that in a restaurant, but I would never usually attempt to cook that at home. I'm almost tempted to make that one now for my lunch, but I feel like I should save it for a dinner and make the cheesy chipotle bean quesadillas instead. The team over at HelloFresh have given me a discount code for you where you can get 50% off of your first box and then 35% off of your next three boxes if you use this code. Number 16, that is what I'm talking about. Drain and rinse the mixed beans, pop into a bowl and roughly mash with the back of a fork or a potato masher. Straight into there. Trim the spring onions, then slice thinly. That means we need the big knife. Don't be judging my knife skills in the comments, guys. Got to give it a little tap a -roo. Can't be, can't be leaving any cheese. Add in the chipotle paste. Tomato puree. Lay the tortillas on a board and spread a little bit of bean mix over half of each. I've added a little bit of oil to a large frying pan. Whilst they're cooking up, we're going back to the avocado. This is when you know they're gonna taste unreal. When you get that golden brown, that's what you're looking for. Next two going in. Now I just need to add the little side salad. Just gonna say it, I think that's literally the same thing. I'm just gonna put my code on the screen one more time here. If you're looking for convenience, variety, and more sustainable meal planning, then I hope you enjoy the code. And definitely tag me in what you're making, because I wanna, I wanna see. I've gotta crack on with a video edit, but I need to try this out. Also, I'm so hot, why am I wearing a jumper? Oh. Not just saying it. That is banging. How good is that chipotle sauce? I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's quite spicy. Is this a vegetarian one? Yeah. Oh, it's sauce. Mmm, chipotle sauce, not chicken. And it's got cheese in it as well, so it's cheesy. Mm. It is a couple of hours later. Joseph's sug is over. I'm rocking the Having new, a go on my Peloton. And new clothing as well. <laughs> He came over last night and I gave him a hoodie and shorts and he's legit come over today in all of it. Look at me, that's the thing, I rocked the brand. Although I'm fuming because I managed to get a bit of beetroot there though. Oh no. I cleaned the fridge out, got a bit of beetroot there and on here, whatever that is. A little bit of bird poo. Yeah. Little, little fly poo. So I'm fuming, but my God. Soft? Comfiest. I've, I've been sent a lot of merch over the years. <laughs> but this isn't, this is, I know this isn't like merch, but like I've been sent a lot of like, Clothing from other cartoons. By the way, I have not asked Joe to say this. I literally just got the camera out. No, but he has let me have a go on his Peloton bike. So he feels he has to. But it is, honestly. <laughs> for quality. He can't clip his shoes in. How do you get these in there? Yeah, now it's in. Bloody hell. There we go. I need to get some padding. Can you put some pads in these shorts? I've got padding. You want future self cycling shorts? You might get a bit hot in the hoodie. 10 minutes relax, relaxing. I haven't got a top underneath this either. <laughs> Slipknot. So like, like one of the guys in the masks. Joe so wants Slipknot. But we're doing a Cody Rigsby. I'm not going to be able to film much of this, otherwise the video's going to get taken down for copyright. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How was that? That was a 10 minute warm up. I'm knackered. Bloody hell, I'm sweating. I spill on like... <laughs> I mean, you are wearing... Literally a jumper. You're wearing a hoodie whilst doing cycling. But hey, look, it shows the future self is it's versatile. <laughs> Joe's just headed home for a shower after his Peloton session. <laughs> and then we're going to head out now and go and play a little bit of golf. But I wanted to check in with Zoe. 
see how jealous you are. Of what? Of me hanging out with the boys this morning. I know, I wanted to see them. I that was my first time I... ever feeding a baby. I don't think I've ever fed a baby before. And first time winding a baby. Yeah, I don't know if I was too good at that. But I feel like that's something you just got to get used to. Also, I feel like it's one of those things where... Oh, this is the worst angle of me I've ever <laughs> I know, I was in. literally just thinking, I look, but... Maybe I'll put it there. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I was saying I feel like it's one of those things where when it's your baby, I'll be much more comfortable because I'll know the parameters of, like, what works and, like... And you'll do you know, know what I mean? Like, like, I'm, like, patting him on the back, but I'm, like, am I patting him hard? Am I patting him too gentle? And Ace, yeah. is, Ace is so chill. He's just, like... Yeah, but you, I just like you it. learn what your baby is like, not capable of, but like you learn what your baby needs. What works, and yeah. What works. Doing that kind of thing. Also, just the reality of like being in. I was saying to the camera. Chairs. Although I feel like earlier on in the vlog, I had water on the microphone. It started raining in Brighton, and I feel like there was water on my mic, so it went a bit weird. So I don't know if I put in all the footage or not. Today was like a reality of having a baby, or it was actually having two babies, obviously. Whilst doing normal things. Whenever we've been around newborns, it's like at the house or at somebody else's house. Oh, so it's like never like in a situation, like being out and about. Like even like yeah. in push chair in the prat in the car, getting it out again. Yeah, normally we're what meeting someone with a newborn, in? like when we met with Maddie. Mm -hmm. We're meeting Maddie at somewhere where she does all of that. Whereas this was like like have you ever done all of that kind of no. That side of it. Do you know Because what I mean? I've never been in a position where I've had somebody's baby without them being there. Today, obviously, I wasn't fully in charge. Asa was there, but he was but like... But you technically had one each. I was like, bro, so do you have to feed one at a time now? And he was like, no, nah, you're feeding Raph. I'm feeding Reuben. I was like, okay. It's made me more excited. Has it? Yeah. Just their little... I don't think I've ever felt anything as soft as their feet. Oh. It was just the softest thing in the world. I just wanted to hold it. She's in there now with her feet. Give me those little feet. Her feet will be tiny right now. Like that. And then once I get back from golf, Zoe and I have put time... Wait, is that your phone? No, that's my phone. <laughs> I've put time aside this evening to... Watch some antenatal watch videos. Watch some antenatal videos. There's like a course you can purchase online. And we're doing that this evening. Got educational baby evening. Oh, I'm so jealous. I need to leave. Otherwise, I'm going to end up eating some of that. Let me give you a little clean up. The weather today has been crazy. It's been like really rainy, really nice, really rainy, really nice. And now we're, we're back to really nice. Joe and I have just arrived at the golf course. We're in hole one, playing at a course called Burgess Hill. Like which academy is, course. there's nine par threes. I don't mind bro. Do you want to tee off? Should we flip a little, flip a little tee? Ready? Yeah. More towards you. This is where I think we mess up bro. Right. What, when we start? <laughs> when we start? <laughs> the first shot, no. The fact that we have not gone on the range, we have yeah. not done any practice swings. I'm literally putting the ball on the tee and hitting my first shot of the trust me of the month. That's when I play my best. And also, last week played my wallet out of my pocket. Last week played, I realised that I was hitting the ball too low off my tee. On the last hole, I hit a shot with my ball high on the tee, and it landed how close. Oh yeah, you hit a beautiful hit a shot. We played maybe like a month ago. Joe hit a birdie here on the last hole. It was so nice. And that's all because I just put the ball a bit higher on the tee. tee you got wife fronts on? Mate, I've honestly I've got short shorts on. They're not <laughs> you even playing in the short shorts? Yeah, my boxer shorts. <laughs> like got bunkers in front of you. Jokers to the right. Just, Here I am. Bit. Stuck in the middle with Stu. Oh, he's, you've hit a blinder. Hold him one. Sit down. Oh, fart on me. That was beautiful. It's up there. What was that? He's up there and that was a nine. A nine, yeah. I'm going to join you. Alfie's on fire today. Look, he's <laughs> Last time we played, he had an absolute stinker. I think every time we've ever played, I've had an absolute stinker. Four, four and one. Bro, I think you've just hit it straight in. Oh, Jeez. We're up there. This is when the pressure kicks in. Look at this. We're both on the green. Floor. Look at your shot though, bro. Is this me here? Yeah, this is you right here. Oh. And I'm pretty far away. I've got a big putt to make. I had a phone call just a minute ago. And they said if I birdie this on camera, then obviously I get the Strixon sponsorship, but 
I think also um, Wilson Windy City so they're going to sponsor me as well Wilson Putters <laughs> yeah so you're up first mate you've got a big putt if you sink that I'll see off one of the beers in your golf bag I play the next hole with no clothes on He's aiming very far to my left. Watch this. Told you. As it comes round, it is coming round. <gasps> oh! Come on, come on. I mean, come on. mate, you were aiming like over this way, then it curled round so much. Read those greens, bro. Jeez. Wait, put that away. You gotta read those greens. If you missed that. <laughs> Oi, lovely. Your turn for the birdie. Oh. Go on, bro. Didn't read it right. Lovely. Par, though. I feel like it would only be fair to film this one. What's I'm this rule? guy. If yours is landing in like an obvious footprint, that's so not fair. I'm not too sure. I feel like during lockdown, they announced a rule, and I might be wrong, golf fans are going to be annoyed at me in the comments, where you can move your ball within six inches in any direction. So... Because they they never used to have rakes. During lockdown, oh, so that was rakes, why. That was why. But so. You so not anymore. It, but now the rakes are back. I think you just got to play. Do you know what? This is going in anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, this is nice. because I watch what you do, and then I'm under it or not. You got to really attack it. Oh, but I don't want to top it. Maybe get your driver. Use your driver. I might putt. <laughs> <laughs> Remember somewhere someone said sink your feet right in. Yeah. Let's see what happens. It's an old wives' tale. Oh, you absolutely, you didn't attack it at all. Look, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> We've had a stinker there. Hey, it's out the, out the sand. Have you seen those people that like bend their arm and then swing it around their head and then... My favourite thing like this. Earlier on, we found this ball, little Callaway football. This goes in, it's coming home. This goes in, it's coming home. Hold in one, ready? Off the ground. Off the ground, seven iron. Pitching wedge. Oh, pitch, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna hoon it with a pitching wedge. Okay. It's about seven iron distance. But apparently we're gonna get the hole in one with the pitching wedge. Pretty decent attempt, bro. Oh, he's up there. He's <laughs> up there. Than my seven <laughs> Future Alfie stepping in to end off the vlog. I completely forgot to end it yesterday. When I got back from golf, Zoe and I just watched a bunch of these amazing videos from like an online antenatal course, learning so many different things that I had no idea about to do with pregnancy and your time at the hospital giving birth and what to prepare and what to bring with you and what to expect afterwards and how to plan afterwards. So I didn't vlog anything else. But I hope you've enjoyed watching the vlog. If you did, go down below, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. You know what to do. Do all the nice stuff. And um, I will see you. Actually, do you know what? Next week on Thursday, I should mention, and I've completely forgot to mention it anywhere. Next week on Thursday, The Secrets Out Season 2 officially launches with Episode 1. Thursday next week, The Secrets Out Season 2 is finally here after I've been working on it for so long long so set a reminder i'll put it in your calendar or something like that i'll see you soon with another new video appreciate you watching